I just got Sour Boy Strawberry. It's really good. I like it. I want to take a minute to talk about this Sniper Wolf Jack's film situation that's been going on real quick. Uh, because everyone's been talking about it and I want in. I also, I'm also doing an essay for my school about doxing and it it kind of fits. I, I've done some research for the, the essay, yeah. I'm going to assume that everyone knows who Sniper Wolf is. If you don't, uh, she's like a reaction channel and not a very good one in my opinion. It's kind of very lazy. Uh, and if you think I'm being too harsh, uh, here's an example. So my dog just died. It really sucks because there wasn't enough meat for me to eat. <laughs> Bro, my dog really just, just said he ate his dog. Really sucks. And scene. Now, if you thought to yourself, what the fuck was that? That was Sniper Wolf. He just got Sniper Wolfed. And that was all just a joke. I don't actually eat dog. But for Sniper Wolf, that's kind of the, the extent of her reactions. Very rudimentary, very basic, um, very lazy in my opinion, and uh, the opinion of most people on YouTube, including Jax Films. Now, if you don't know who Jax Films is, he's uh, the OG YouTube content creator, uh, and he has been criticizing reaction channels a lot, including, I think he took down on 2017, he took down another reaction channel named Jinx. And I don't like the thought of taking channels down, but for reaction channels, honestly, I, I feel like I can make an exception. Just because they're most reaction channels, not all reaction channels, but most of them, they kind of piggyback off other content creators, um, their works. And they're not transforming it, they're not putting their own spin on things, and they're just making mo money off it. Uh, the term is freebooting. As in, I take your content, I'm going to put it on my channel. Uh, most likely, I'm not going to give you credit, and I'm going to make money off it. What the fuck? And it's like, you know, I'm, I'm not going to be honest with you. I make shit content, but at least I put some effort into it. I write a script. I edit. I, at least I'm not lazy. Sniper Wolf is a very lazy content creator, in my opinion, and Jax Films agrees. He criticizes her content, and he even made a parody channel, J -J -J Jax Films, to kind of like make make fun. I is that the right word? Make fun of it. He doesn't just parody her videos. Uh, he also like finds the original content creator and credits them. So it's, it's good work. It's what he's doing is a good thing. But Sniper Wolf was uh, ooh, she's mad. Now Sniper Wolf pretty much had a mini breakdown when Jack started parodying her videos. Uh she had like a whole bunch of Twitter threads. So she said things like, the only thing that's funny about you is your hairline, pretty much roasting him for uh, criticizing her content. Bro is stuck in 2013 and wonders why people don't think he's funny anymore. I think he's funny. I don't think you're funny, Sniper Wolf. Because you don't have any personality in your videos. Ooh, I said it. The only reason why people watch your videos is because they're watching the TikToks. What? Uh, oh, that's my favorite one. Also, I hate bringing gender into this. But first of all, let me, let me teach you all something about the word but. If you say something, and then follow it up with but and say something else. The first part of the sentence is fucking void. I'm not a racist, but here's a racist comment. I'm not a sexist, but here's a sexist comment. I'm not a financial advisor, but take my financial advice and buy some crypto. This tweet annoys me because it's pretty much saying I hate bringing gender into this, but I'm bringing gender into this. Like, no, just say you're going to bring gender into this. It's your Twitter. You could do whatever you want. For example, I am bringing class into this. I guarantee you Sniper Wolf is too powerful on YouTube to ever get taken down. You know why I say this? Because Sniper Wolf did something to Jack's films that every content creator on this platform can agree. You probably shouldn't do it. She doxed him. I thankfully cannot find the picture anymore. But what Sniper Wolf did was on, I believe, October 13th, on Friday the, it's Friday the 13th, 
she did a whole thing about trying to visit Jack, visit Jack's films because uh, she was near him. It's censored, but the original picture is of his house. She took a picture of his house and posted it on Instagram for her 5 million followers to see. Well, why? Because he he made fun of you? Is that what it is? You don't want criticism. Hey, is that what it is? <laughs> why the fuck? What, what went into your brain that you decided it's okay to take a picture of another person's house? Another content creator's house? Which is doubly important because on 2013 she made a video saying that that's like her worst fear is getting doxxed. Oh, I'm having a brain aneurysm. Oh, I don't want to talk about this anymore. Oh, fuck me. Please, somebody tell me, like, make this make sense. In, in, what, in what realm, in what multiverse is this appropriate? Because the, the thing is, you have people like EDP. Nobody wants EDP to get doxxed either. And he's a fucking actual criminal weirdo. Jack did nothing wrong. All he did was criticize. He... What? And again, I was researching doxing, and one of the, the, the things that they talked about was um, people saying that doxing is pretty much their First Amendment rights. So let me tell you something. It's not your First Amendment right to dox people. I could tell you this much. If that's like constitutionally protected, I don't want the First Amendment rights anymore. See what you're making me do? This is so good, but I'm not eating this to enjoy it. I'm eating it because I'm fucking mad about this situation. It's so stupid. Fucking eating my feelings. It's so brain dead. This situation is fucking brain dead. Let me tell you the kicker and why, the main reason why I wanted to make this video. YouTube has a zero, po zero tolerance policy on doxing. Um... And <laughs> Sniper Wolf's channel hasn't been taken down. In fact, in the time of recording, October 16th, this shit happened in October 13th. Look! She just posted three hours ago. And a day ago. And I don't know about the three days ago, but fucking three days ago too. They didn't take it down. Bro, she's too powerful. YouTube doesn't give a fuck about us. Fuck this. I might move to Rumble. So now I have two questions I want I want to address. Uh, one to Sniper Wolf, one to YouTube. Sniper Wolf, where is your common sense where you thought this was an appropriate thing? Because you took down those doxing videos or the, the 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 picture of his house, so you knew you doxed him, so you knew it was wrong. And second of all, to YouTube, why has nothing been done? <laughs> A man just got doxed, and you're just like. I'm not doing anything. I'm getting views. I'm getting money from separate Yeah, Fucking stupid, dude. Get the fuck out of here. And I would like to thank Caleb Oompaville for uh, making Strawberry Sour Boys. This has really helped me not lose my shit while I'm writing this paper and making this video. I'm not mad at you, YouTube. Just please, um, punish people, even though they're, you know, they're making a lot of money. Yeah, this is good.